أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتع علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear and most respected brothers and sisters and friends I greet you all with the greetings of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada, where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of his creation. I want to continue from where we left off in our previous program and we talked about this beautiful uh, this beautiful verse in the Quran uh, Surah An-Nisa chapter 4 verse 113 where God Almighty Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala reveals wa kana fadlullahi alayka azima which means the grace of Allah upon you O prophet Muhammad is infinite and so in this verse in the Quran God Almighty summarizes the great blessings the great favor and grace and bounty that he bestowed upon the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam a few of the many examples that are mentioned throughout the Quran firstly the mercy of God Almighty upon the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam the prophet peace be upon him, received the greatest portion of mercy from God Almighty uh, that he has given to any of his creation. And so God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reveals in the Quran in Surah Al-Anbiya, the chapter of the Prophet saying, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And we have not sent you, O Prophet Muhammad, except as a mercy to all of creation, to all the worlds. And so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa uh, part of this great bounty and grace that he received from God Almighty is the mercy of God Almighty and he became the distributor of the mercy from God Almighty to the rest of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another example is the knowledge that uh, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him received from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. God Almighty in the Quran says that he is the one who uh, taught the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The, the Prophet Muhammad was uh, uh, described as an nabi al-ummi in this Quran, the unlettered prophet, could not read or write. And he said, this is from his mahasin, this is from his praiseworthy qualities. Uh, unusual because today if someone is unlettered, cannot read or write, it's not considered a praiseworthy characteristic. But the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, mentioned the reason why. He said, uh, I, I was unlettered, could not read or write, and therefore I did not have any earthly teacher. It was God Almighty who was my teacher, granting me knowledge of everything in creation. And thirdly, hikmah or wisdom. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was uh, given the greatest portion of wisdom from God Almighty uh, greater than any of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So God Almighty is telling us in this Quran, وَكَانَ فَضْلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكَ عَظِيمًا And so it is that uh, we, we get closer to God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I want also to 
mention a few additional points on the hadith from our previous program, this prophetic statement or sacred tradition of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, where he said, he talked about hastening to do good deeds. And he talked about this man who was ill, uh, expected to die soon. He had a warehouse of dates. He came to the Prophet Muhammad and said that he wanted him to distribute this date after he passed away, after this man passed away. And so the man died. And then the Prophet instructed that this warehouse of dates be distributed to the people of Medina. And when uh, they finished doing that and they came to him and told him they distributed everything, he went to the warehouse to check for himself because this is an amana, a trust that he had taken to ensure that everything is distributed. And he went, he searched in the warehouse and he found one date. And then he told the sahabas, the companions, he said that if this man had distributed this one date while he was alive, before he died, he would have received more rewards than distributing this entire warehouse of date after he passed away. So the lesson, again, is for you to hasten to do good deeds. Don't delay the doing of good deeds uh, because we don't know when we are leaving this dunya so strive to do as many good deeds as possible uh, as soon as we get this opportunity to do good deed grab hold of that opportunity do that good deed for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for God Almighty that, that the blessings would, would flow in your life uh, there are some people who um, make wills and so on, and we should all do that. This is a good thing. It's the son of the Prophet uh, But uh, for their possession, their wealth to be distributed after they die, the Prophet is telling us here, do it as soon as possible. Hasten to do good deeds, uh, whether it's your, your wealth and possession or other things that you can do to benefit others. Much better for you to do it while you are alive. I also want to mention uh, this principle of immaculate conception uh, and to of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Prophet Jesus. And, and to mention that this is the Quranic teaching, this is the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that we as Muslims believe in a concept of immaculate conception, how uh, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, uh, Prophet Jesus was born of a virgin, of his virgin mother, uh, the Virgin Mary. In, in Islam, we say uh, Sayyida Maryam, uh, and we say alayhi salam, the, may the peace and blessings of God be upon upon her. And every time we mention the name of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Prophet Jesus, we say the same thing as well. We make the dua, the supplication for him. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be upon him. Uh, and so I, I, I wanted to mention this to let us know the, the love that Muslims have for Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Prophet Adam, and all the prophets, all the prophets of God Almighty, how we honor them and obey them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to follow in their footsteps to worship him and to be in the shade of his mercy. Ameen. Ameen. At the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah said, a faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful. narrated that Rasulullah was asked why he fasts Mondays. He said, it was the day I was born. As was narrated in Hadith Qudsi, those whom are engaged in my mentioning, I am with them. 
as if I was their companion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, those who mention Allah profusely are given by Allah forgiveness and great reward. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Truly feels like coming to a family event every time Sonia uh, and I have the pleasure of, of attending any of your events here. I'd like to echo some of the remarks made earlier to say uh, thank you very much for your support and the entire congregation's uh, support during the election. It's because of uh, your efforts that Sonia is able to travel to Ottawa today to take her seat as the official MP for Brampton South. She sends greetings on this very auspicious occasion of the celebration of the birthday of the great prophet Muhammad. She wishes the congregation all of the best to have a wonderful celebration. So she wanted to remind the congregation that she is always at the side of the Islamic Forum and of the entire uh, community. So thank you very much for inviting us and uh, wishing everyone a wonderful celebration. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I I want to recommend this book for you, the blessings of Salawat that you can obtain from the Islamic Forum. You can purchase it from, from Islamic Forum, and this uh, book, as the title suggests, it contains the virtues and the benefits and the blessings of reciting Salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or invoking blessings upon him. And we we launched this Salawat project. Uh, two months ago for the three-month period, Safar, Rabi al-Awwal, and Rabi al-Thani that we're in right now, for to encourage as many people as possible to recite Salawat. And alhamdulillah, the response has been amazing in, in many countries throughout the world. Uh, many of uh, our students, uh, brothers and sisters in our community and so on, they've been reciting Salawat. Uh, last week, I was in the UK, and we had an amazing program of the One Million Salawat program that I talked something more about it to recite Salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu So I want to uh, remind you to do this as much as you can. Uh, the recommendation is that you recite the Salawat a hundred times after each Fard Salah, so 500 times a day. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Uh, I also want to remind you of the time of our television program. It's every Sunday morning at 6.30 a.m. on the same channel, Yes TV, Channel 9. Uh, and uh, I, I want to suggest that uh, you, you get up at 6 o'clock for Fajr Salah, you pray your Fajr Salah, and then afterwards you can look at the program and then have your breakfast and invite your family members, relatives, and friends to do likewise, to look at the program every Sunday morning at 6.30 a.m. inshallah. We will share this opportunity with you today for our new masjid fundraising appeal and also for our present location at 200 Advance Boulevard. Uh, to sponsor one block of $100 today and then to join a monthly pledge, I want to request you to join a monthly pledge. You can donate uh, something to the Islam Forum every month. Uh, we recommend a block of $100 inshallah. You can use your credit card to do so. You can co contact the Islam Forum, email us or call us and a volunteer will get back to you to facilitate your donation or you can go directly to the Islam Forum website, Islam Forum Online 
uh, com forward slash donate and you can make a donation there conveniently inshallah so uh, once again to donate something today to the Islam Forum and join the monthly pledge inshallah remember the Prophet Sallallahu says that when any anyone dies all their action ceases that you cannot do anything for yourself anymore except for three things one of which is Sadaqa Jariya Sadaqa Jariya a recurring charity so you donate to the masjid and many people benefit uh, from the services of the masjid and you get the blessings inshallah our special appeal in this month is for the carpet for our present location at 200 advanced boulevard we need to replace the old carpets with new ones and we're making this appeal hopefully you, we, we, we request you to make a donation today and this is an excellent opportunity of sadaqa jariya that you can give inshallah uh, because every time uh, so many people are using that uh, prayer mat the carpet at the masjid to pray to study and so on and so forth you share in those blessings inshallah we want to thank everyone who contributed to uh, our special programs recently the annual one million salawat event in the united kingdom in birmingham at the central mosque there is called gamkol sharif masjid many people were there last week i gave the uh, feature address and then uh, we recited salawat uh, from after the Hur until isha more than one million salawat we recited in that one majlis and this is why it's called the million salawat event we want to thank everyone who uh, contributed to the success of that program, inshallah. Uh, our annual Maulid, Maulid or Sul dinner recently, we thank everyone for contributing to, to the success of the program. There's some upcoming programs, our end of year Grand Maulid on Tuesday, December the 31st. This is an annual program to bid farewell to 2019 and to welcome the new year 2020 uh, in a wonderful way of reciting uh, the Quran and Dhikr and Dua and Salat to Tahajjud and Salat to test B and so on on that wonderful night uh, Tuesday December the 31st inshallah starts at 7 p.m. at Islam Forum please join us for that and then our next sacred knowledge seminar Sunday January the 19th 2020 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Islamic Forum please register for that inshallah and all our ongoing programs continue at Islamic Forum may Allah subhanahu ta'ala bless each and every one of you Amin. عز النصير ولم أجد إلا كعونا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, O oh, you who believe, when you hear the call to Jumu'ah, hasten to make the mentioning of Allah. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Friday is the best of days that the sun has risen on. And he also said, there is an hour on the day of Jumu'ah, or Jumu'ah, during which the prayer of a Muslim is answered.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I want to share with you one of the beautiful benefits and blessings of reciting salawat or invoking blessings on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to recite Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. The Prophet said, Awla nasi bi yawm al qiyamah aktharuhum alayya salatan. The nearest of people, the closest of people to me uh, are those who are most frequent in reciting salawat upon me. And so this is the secret that the Prophet is giving us of how we can get closer and closer to him in this dunya and in the akhirah. And that is by reciting much salawat on him to, re to spend time to do this every day and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you to recite salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And remember, the more you recite it, the closer you get to him, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I also want in this month of December to share some of what we as Muslims believe about Prophet Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, what the Quran teaches us, what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us. First of all, Muslims are required to love Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, just as we love all the prophets of God Almighty, Prophet Abraham, Prophet Moses, Prophet Noah, uh, Prophet Adam, the very first prophet, and so on, and everyone in between uh, until the final, the last prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Secondly, Muslims love the mother of Prophet uh, Jesus, uh, Sayyida Maryam, or the Virgin Mary, uh, peace be upon her. Uh, we believe that she is one of the uh, best of the women of creation. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that there are four women who are the leaders of all the women of creation and he mentioned the name of a Sayyida Maryam uh, the mother of Prophet Isa alayhi salam, as one of those four women who are the best of the women of creation so I, I wanted to share this with you so you can understand something about the beautiful teachings of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to love him and to love his most beloved the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and stream a reality we need your financial support please donate generously 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I want to remind you of our special program for the end of this year, Tuesday night, December 31st, inshallah, we have our grand maulid to bid farewell to 2019 and to welcome 2020, a special program of special prayer and dhikr and dua and salatu tahajjud and salatu tasbih and so on. So it starts at 7 p.m. on Tuesday night, 31st of December. Please make a note of that time and date and come to the Islamic Forum to join with us in this wonderful event inshallah I want to thank those who have donated recently to the Islamic Forum and we make a special appeal to you today uh, to make a generous donation to the Islamic Forum sponsor one block inshallah and then join a monthly pledge to donate something every month to the Islamic Forum possibly to sponsor one block and rem remember the appeal a special appeal for the carpet for our location at 200 advanced Boulevard this appeal would continue until the end of this month and after that we uh, we we don't ex intend or expect to continue the appeal, inshallah. So we hope uh, you can donate uh, as soon as possible, inshallah. I, I want to recognize uh, some of those who have donated recently, uh, Sister Abida and Brother Zakran and their family, the Yaqub family, Brother Moses, Sister Safur and the rest of the Yaqub family, Sister Shamyun from Otwan and her mother and her husband, Philip. Uh, we thank them for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Dr. Naveed Mohammed, Patrick Wilson, Khatul bin Zamadi, Hina Siddiq, Susan Al Wahhabi. We thank all of them for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, also, we want to recognize uh, uh, Farheen Khan, Muhammad Anwari, Muhammad Ajaz, Shamina Owen, uh, Sidi Muzamil Korn, Bibi Jaigubin, Bibi uh, Shamyun, Aisha Iqbal, Kevin Sparks, uh, Denise Wan, uh, Ruben Yusuf Batista, uh, Power Pixel Graphic. Uh, Anis Taibali, Shamina Rahman, Narjis Rahman, Sara Rahman, Fazil Saifullah, Sister Margaret Samikhiri. These are some of the names I want to recommend uh, and make dua for. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Shut up.